All right, so I'm recording now. Uh, just to point this out, so let's say you want to do a trade with a trailing stop. Let's say that I want to buy the QQQ, right? Now, I've already set my platform to automatically enter um, stop losses, okay? Trailing stops. It's going to start, so anytime I enter a trade, it's going to drop a trailing stop in, and the trailing stop is going to be um, based upon a um, $5 distance from the entry, and it's going to move in an increment of $5. The reason I chose $5 is just because, in most cases, that would be more than enough room, much more than enough room for a trade. So let's just do this right now. I'm going to hit buy market. Oops. Uh, maybe I can't hit buy market. Try it again. There you go. I hit buy market. And it just added 100 shares of QQQ, right? Now, notice that I have a trailing stop that's entered right here. You see it has a little X next to it, so that's live. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to change that, and I want this trailing stop increment to be smaller. Now, right now, it's five bucks, which is a lot. Actually, this sorry, this platform I have it uh, five dollars behind and one dollar trailing on the other computer. I have five and five, so I'm going to change this to making it twenty-five cents, and my increments also. Well, I'm going to make my increment ten cents. Now, what is this going to mean? This means that. The trailing stop is now going to move, be moved to 25 cents behind the entry point, which is 319.98. And every time this goes up 10 cents, the trailing stop is going to move up exactly 10 cents. So I hit send. Now it's there. Okay. Now, notice that the trailing stop is currently at 320. And the stock is, okay, I just got stopped. Oh, no, it didn't get stopped. I thought it did. Um, the, sorry, the trailing stop is currently at 320. It says it right here. It's at an increment of 10 cents. So if this goes down to 320, I thought it was about to, but it didn't. If this goes down to 320, I get stopped out. But if it goes up just a little bit more, the trailing stop is going to move up. You'll see it adjust in just a moment. Should adjust in just a moment. I think. I'm not sure how much higher I got to go. Um, come on. Okay, should have adjusted there. I don't see it. But that's, but anyway, I know it's trailing, but I guess it didn't adjust. Anyway, uh, currently, actually, sorry, it's not at 320. Sorry. Oh, no, it is at 320. Oh, it already moved up. But anyway, the point is, I guess I have to move up a little further because I adjusted it on the fly. I have to do the calculations in my head. But in short, um, if we go back to 320, I get stopped. Uh, I guess if it goes just a little bit more, I guess past this high, then I'll move up some more. But the trailing increment is 10 cents. Um, so every time we go up 10 cents, it's going to move 10 cents more. But it started out 25 cents um, behind the market. So my trailing stop, you can see this line right there. Uh, that's basically where it is right now. Okay, my entry point is at 319.98. So basically, I'm up two pennies if I get stopped out at exactly 320. So now it's just a matter of if it keeps going up or not, right? So essentially, I'm, I'm at break, I'm just a little bit above break even, just enough where I'll cover the commission if I get stopped out. Not really that big of a deal to me at one penny a share, but it would still cover that. All right. Now, once you do that, that's it, right? So when you enter the trade, you should have your, I would strongly recommend that you have the stop loss. Um, automatically enter to do that you have to go into your settings sorry to your settings where there it is okay and uh where is it under equities sorry this is a little slow under equities it shows here the uh, button here you select this attach auto t-stop order to every order 
Then you set the trail amount, which means where the stop starts, how far away from the current market price in dollars. In other words, five equals 5.00. If you change it to one, that means a dollar. If you change it to 0.1, it means 10 cents. If you change it to 0 0.01, it means one penny, right? So just set it at an increment that you probably won't get hit right away, right? Most stocks are not going to drop five bucks on you in a moment. If you're trading a stock that would, then obviously you might want to turn this off before you trade that stock or change the increment before you trade the stock. Anyway, the increment here uh, tells me how far it ha the market has to move before the stop loss gets moved up. So if it starts $5 behind, the market goes up a dollar. Now the stop loss is $4 um, behind my entry point but still $5 behind the market. If it moves up another dollar, the stop loss will be $3 behind my entry point, but still $5 behind the market. Okay, so I just got stopped out, as you see. Um, made 11 bucks. Okay. So that's that. Pretty simple. Minus fees, as you can see. So $10 net. Okay, so that's it. So I'll save this recording, but in case anyone's still not clear about how to use trailing stops, that's it. The amount is where it starts, how far away the stop is. The increment is how far the market has to move first. So if I put $5 as the increment, then of course the market will have to go up five bucks before the stop loss is moved. If I put a dollar, then the market would have to move a dollar. So you also have to factor in, you know, looking at the stock you're choosing, how far it might move. It is very important not to think about risk. Uh, let me stop the recording.